Jail authorities in Pakistan have once again refused to obey court orders and are denying former Prime Minister Imran Khan and his wife medical checkups through their personal physician Dr. Asim Yusuf, said advocate Naeem Heather Panjuta, a member of Mr. Khan's legal team, in an urgent statement on Twitter. Just last week, doctors recommended blood tests for Bushra Bibi after it was revealed that her food was poisoned. On Saturday, Mr. Khan said Pakistan's army chief and de facto ruler Asim Munir would be responsible should anything happen to him or his wife. Mr. Khan's illegal incarceration has now reached 247 days. Protests demanding Imran Khan's release continued across the Khyber Pakhtunkhwa province over the weekend. In Peshawar, Bajor, Deir and Shangla, thousands came out condemning Mr. Khan and his wife's illegal incarceration while demanding their release along with all of PTI's incarcerated workers. The protesters were also demanding protection for the senior leader of the party, Murad Saeed, who has been hounded by Pakistan's powerful security agencies. Eight hundred and two Pakistanis, including civilians and security officials, lost their lives in terrorism related incidents in the first quarter of 2024, a surge of 17% from the previous quarter, according to a new report by the Center for Research and Security Studies, an Islamabad based think tank. Pakistan security agencies have been mired in governance and politics for the past two years since it conspired to overthrow Imran Khan's government in a soft coup. Serving generals are now heading civilian departments and the intelligence agencies are intimidating judges of the High Court, leaving the country vulnerable to terrorism. Despite the holy month of Ramadan, which calls for mercy and kindness, Pakistan's fascist regime is treating illegally incarcerated female prisoners affiliated with Imran Khan's PTI inhumanely. Senior reporter Shakir Mahmood Awan said in a tweet that Sanam Javed and Alia Hamza were being subjected to cruelty, given just minimal food to break their fast and denied food from home. Shakir also added that jail authorities expressed helplessness as, quote, agencies are monitoring us, unquote, referring to Pakistan's powerful military-controlled security apparatus. Hundreds rally in Pakistan's largest city, Karachi, to demand end to Israeli hostilities in Gaza as it has been six months since the war started. Members of the civil society, students and ordinary citizens attended the rally. The protesters urged the Pakistani government to use its navy to send immediate aid to Palestinians in Gaza. The Israelis have so far killed over 33,000 people, mostly women and children, since October 7th. 